since this is an advanced program, it's assumed that you already understand the terms and the fundamentals of the game of Go. If not, you can visit my website and get some information there. This game was played on March 1953. The two sides were Fujisawa Konosuke and Gosegen. Gosegen and I, one of the greatest Go players in Go history. I think it's unnecessary to introduce more about him. Fujisawa Konosuke, he is also known as Fujisawa Honsei, but at that time, his name was Fujisawa Konosuke. He was the first player who became a dan with a dan promotion match. Also, he was the record holder of the fastest dan promotion. Nowadays, there are many Nadan players, but at that time, Fujisawa and Gosekin were the only Nadan in the world, so they were best of the best. In 1953, the two players were playing Jubango. This kind of match may be the most bloodthirsty match in Go history. The players who lose four more games than the opponent in Jubango will be forced to higher handicap. There's a serious combination to top player. This match was the sixth match of the Tribango, and Fritzawa had lost four of them. So he was under tremendous pressure. It's the last chance that he could return his honor. The game is too serious for him that he can't afford to lose it. A resignation was in his breast pocket. If he lost the game, he would quit Nihon Kin. Okay, let me comment on the game. Go second takes black. Fujisawa Konosuke takes white. Nowadays, the New Year's Fuseki is quite common. But it's a very modern Fuseki in the year 1953. People often play Komoko at the time. From this point of view, lead to Komoko are not at the right direction. Because lead to Komoko towards the right side. A black Hakari. Black Hakari stone will call it well with the stones on the start point. So a white place Komoko, perhaps this kind of Komoko would be better. It's a theory, but it's just a theory. We can't say these moves are bad moves. Black Hakari. White attaches. Black Nobi. White bumps, black bands, white descent. This is an old Yoseki. In modern times, this Yoseki is rarely seen. Relative to this shape, white is worse on the left side, but a bit better on the lower side. Black Tanuki placing more emphasis on stacky speed. White attaches. Kosekin's new Fuseki theory is to attach more importance to the center, not to territory. All the stones faced the wide area. In this playing style, if you can master well, all of the stones will exert significant effect. If you can't master well, they will go so far as to become the opponent's attack target. Personally, I prefer black, because black shape is beautiful and white direction is not good. So I said, maybe it's better for white to choose this Komoko. Black is dense. White Kakari. In this situation, if it were modern players play, most of them would play a split move. But according to the Oracle theory, Kakari is considered the biggest move in Fuzaki. Black jumps to make a moyo in this area. Then white extends. A white kima. Black will certainly get influence. This stone could also call it well with the stones here. So white extends directly. Then black extends here. This is an interesting move. To play here or here is more common. If black should marry, it would be easy for white to evade the right side. 
a black extends here. White could even sense It's a simple but a good choice. These two stones are the same distance from the star point. In this kind of circumstance, white in with the sensor, black will be a little confused. No matter black blocks here or here. One of these stones in fit say couldn't be high. If black extends here, white may don't want to emit the sensor. It will be too easy for the opponent to make a choice. Black will block here without thinking. Because this area is wider. I think that's why black exists here instead of here. Then white jumps. This move is very big. Now it's common sense for black to extend. But go second playing style is very light and average trend. Black tenu key and jumps here. This point is tenu then. It concerns the development for both sides. If black doesn't play, white jumps here. White could elect Moyo and reduce black at the same time. Then white plays here to reduce black's Moyo. This move is imaginative. Black jumps. White should hit. If black not be, White will get a good shape. So black knob here. White presses. Black knobby. White kima. White kima is very elegant. It can reduce black moyo and strengthen this group. White can follow up play here or here to settle this group in the future. Now black begins to settle the lower side. It's common sense for black to extend. But white will kima. White shape will be better than black's. So black calls me first. If white not be, then black extends. Then the two groups will be almost equal. White doesn't want black to be satisfied, so white counterattacks. If black just uh, jumps out, white will not be. White will be comfortable. White group will be still better than blacks. And black will be a floating group. So this diagram is unacceptable for black. In this area, both sides can't answer the opponent's move. They just uh, tenuki and tenuki. For the same reason, white can't answer this move. White caps here to capture this three. Black continues tenuki after here. Now we can say white killed this three. But the black gets a big corner. You may think the exchange is bad for black, because white seems to have so much territory. But it's not the truth. Black corner is very solid. Though the three stones are dead, white shape is the same. Black can still make use of these dead stones. And black could invade here. Not all of this area is white solid territory. In extra game, white Kima cap. Very light. Here and uh, here will be Mia. White will be easy to settle. If black Kima, white will play like this. This is the diagram which white expects. White group is well settled. 
I can't say black is bad. They diagram the just uh, to common for Gonzaga, the most talented player of last century. Gonzaga shoots a counter attack. He would never follow the opponent's intention. White plays here. Black Nobby. White connects. Black Nobby. White jumps. Locally, if Black Tanuki, because of the cutting points here, White can take Santa to Hane and connect. Then White will make a two space extension. It will be easy for White to make a life. So if Black wanted to attack White, Black must uh, design it first. White extends. Black blocks. White came up to escape. Black contacts and cuts White's connection. White honey. Black Nobby. White Kosubi. In extra game, Black jumps here. After the match, Gosegan said this move may be a bit slow because it will be hard for Black to make attack after White jumping. Gosegan said he also considered about the diagram to win here, make a direct attack. These moves are very strong. The diagram will be risky for both sides. In actual game, black jumps here. Personally, I like this move. It's just like you should pull back your face before you hit somebody. After this move, black is very sick. He will be free to attack without any worry. Then white jumps. Now it's too slow for black to nobby. If black nobby, white simply nobby. Then if black nobby, white nobby. Black can bring no threat to white. These black stones are totally useless. So black can't play like this. In actual game, black came up. This is a good move. This move is very thin. Go second consider that this move had accumulated enough strength. This shape had no weakness, so they could force play attack white. This move is able to maximize the efficiency of this move. The white cost will be Black Hema. These moves and the following moves are Gosegan style, very light. White Kima. Black contacts to make full use of the dead stones. White Nobby. This exchange could also cause some trouble to White's connection. Then Black contacts here. White Honey. Black Nobby. White descends. After these exchanges, it's more difficult for White to escape through this way. Black calls me to reinforce this group. White responds here. Then black points. If white plays here, white can make life locally. 
but the game of Go is not only a game of skill, but also a game of psychology. It's a match between masters. A slight retreat can lead to the whole loss of the match. As I said, Vishavanada had a resignation in his pocket. Under this circumstance, he didn't have any more to shirk from a fight. White music, these stones are very thin. You want to attack me? I'll cut you first. Now, it's common sense for black to block. But if black blocks, white will cut. White shape is very good. These stones are too thin, and they will be very hard to settle. So, white pushes, black pushes. It's an excellent move. White connects. It seems very successful to white to have cut these black stones. Black is the split shape. But black has his own reason to play like this. Black pushes. You see, black suddenly turned his gun to this group. The subject of this game is to alternately attacking the two white groups. Now, if white blocks, black will cut. If white plays in this way, white could make life. But white still has a weakness here. White will be uncomfortable. So white, no be first. Now, you play honey. After the exchange, no white blocks. The situation has changed. Now, if black cards, white will place the version I just mentioned. At this time, because of this exchange, white hana here, white weakness has gone. So black doesn't want to respond here. Black should not be. White honey, black pawns, what a fierce attack black plays. White connect, black nobi. In actual game, white connects, black turns, then white honey. It's better for white to honey directly. Black honey, white consume, cause this is white sante. White can make life in this way. Black to answer. If black artery, white can consume. After the exchanges here, black can't escape. So, what can be left with local? If black doesn't play artery, but to knob instead, what knobby? Black knives, white connects, black knives, white knobby. Black has so many weaknesses. Here's a cutting point. 
and this zone will escape. White will be this settle. So it's better for white to honey directly. In extra game, white connects, black bands. After the exchange, white honey, black honey, white cosmi, black artery. Now white can't kill black, white honey. Black artery. What makes the bamboo joint? Black captures. White causes me to get a connection. White has linked together. But this move is black sante. If white doesn't answer, black will waste cut. Black can't waste the card directly without the stone. White bands. It will get connected with this group or this one. In extra game, black band is present. White answers here. Then black connects. Black stones which in the center were very thin and difficult to settle. You see, by attacking this white group, black group which the center had been settled very well. This is good second playing style. To play very thin in the first place, then handles everything well. Let every stone at a maximum efficiency, but leaves no obvious weakness to the opponent. It's very hard to grasp the sense of proportion. That's why I said it's better for white to hunt it first then make life locally. If white can make life locally, this move causes them to be black center. Then white plays here. If black pushes, white will push. Black cuts, white artery, black escapes, white artery, black jumps, White calls me. White can get connected. So black plays here and continues to make use of the dead stones. If white simply connects, now black can place the variation which I just mentioned. Now you see, because of this exchange, what's causing me cannot get a connection. Black could cut white in this way. White also realized black intention. So white no be and counter attacks. While this battle is continuing, a new fighting starts here. This is the brilliant aspect of this game. Black pushes, white bends, black cuts, white knobby, black knobby, white artery, black skips. White escapes, black artery, white escapes, 
b l a c k s c a p e s The white cosmi is a test g to escape. A black artery white connects. Due to the cutting point here, black cannot cut white. Black can artery. White artery. Black connects. White will get connection. A black place here. White will artery and connect. So it's a good test G to escape. In extra game, black pushes. Black is going to make a sacrifice. Now white can't push. If white pushes, black artery. White will be killed. So white had to kill its five. Then black connects. White got a great profit in local, captured five stones, and had a chance to cut here. This move is very big. Did go second play the bag? Of course not. I think go second had a first the result when black clamped here. Black suffered a great loss on the left side. But please note, black gets two moves here. The original shape was like this. Also, this move will be black center. White should capture. The disparity between beginners and masters is how they exert influence. You can say black paid a lot to get these two stones. This two is useless to a beginner, but to go second, its power can be measured. Then white attaches, trying to make a life. Before black made this wall, any time would be okay for white to attach here. And black has no choice but to honey. To protect territory on the side, black would never play elsewhere and let white to break the territory. But now, black has influence here. The situation has changed. Black points is a critical strike. This move is totally beyond imagination. Black Kima first play attacked this white group, then launched a fierce attack on this group, then sacrifices stones to make the wall. All police are prepared for this move. This move was played in 1953. Today, after 58 years, when I put this stone on the board, I can still feel the power from 58 years ago, just at the moment the stone touched the board. This power shocked my heart deeply. A white knobby, black pushes, White blocks, black artery, white descends, black artery, white connects, black descends. White killed two stones, but this is the fourth eye. White can make a life.
if write connects, play will play here. Write honey, play connects, write jumps. Now play can jump here. White can make a incentive. Then white will connect here. But we'll be a living group. But black can jump here. Next, here and uh, here. We'll be mere for black. But can't make life. So what has no better choice but to honey? Sacrifice the group to exchange the corner. Black pushes. White artery. Black escapes. White pushes. Black snobby. Actually, black snobby is not the best choice. In this situation, black should descend. If white connects, now black can be. Black can still kill the white group. And little stones are under the bed. Black would make life in the corner. If white Atari. Black escape. Then it white cuts. Black artery. Black can still kill white. If white connects, black will cut. Black will not be afraid if white pushes through. Because black is very sick. White can't make an eye in this area. In extra game, black knobby. It's a hasty move. Black may want to capture this white group steadily. This move actually gives a breathing space to white. Let's think back. This area was black sphere of influence. If black had to sacrifice the corner to kill white, we can see that black has a decisive advantage. Especially black has suffered big losses here. White had a lot of territory in this area also captured this file, and had a chance to cut this three. If white can get the right upper corner, though the big group had been died, the unexpected result is that the situation would be not bad for white. In extra game, white honey, black double honey, white artery, Black contact array. White captures. The stone on the star point has been captured. That's very painful for black. Then black calls me. White data array. Black connects. Then white cuts. The biggest point on the board. Black kima. White descends. Black descends. White honey. Then black peeps. This kind of move is a habit of professional players, making some advantageous exchanges before make life. But obviously, Gosek made a mistake. This move was a bad move. Black considers that 
Why should I connect the dots alley? By saying extra game, write contact text with the text G right away. That's an excellent move. This kind of test G could never escape from Fisabinand's eyes. Now black can artery. White artery. If black escape, white artery here, black escapes, white pushes. Here will connect and here will artery. White dragon will back to life. After this move, Gosekin found that he could not escape. So Black calls me. White Nobby. Now we say this exchange is very bad for Black. Black has to make a life. The white bands. Black plays here, right here. Black has to connect. Now you can see Black's big area has been totally broken by white. White territory is even more than Black's, and Black is a god here. Then white blocks. Black here. White connects. Black to center to and then connect. Then black captures. Though the game didn't use Komi, in this situation, we cannot deny that white is in the lead. If white reinforces here, white situation would be better than black's. Then if black points, it's the biggest point of the board. White just retreats and makes life. Though it's uncomfortable, if White chooses this way to play, White would be safe. Thus, maybe if Fujisawa could win the game, the more they go his story would be changed. In every game, Fujisawa did the play here. This move is safe, but this move is the biggest. In every game, White descends. This move reflected Fujisawa's professionalism. It is never defend passively if we have advantages. Pursue perfect moves at any time. But this move gives Gosekin the final opportunity. This group seems a little thin. When you face a master hand like Gosekin, every little weakness could lead to a fatal blow. Black contacts. You see, in the forsake stage, white killed three black stones. During the game, black make use of them again and again. Even in the in-game stage, black could still make use of them. Now white can block. If white blocks, black dumb honey. White territory will be destroyed. So white and here. Black cross card. Now if white nobi, this is white's strongest move. Black next. White blocks. Black artery. White descends. Black descends. White descends. Black descends. White calls me to put gender. Black descent is center. Still making use of these dead stones. If I turn okay, black calls me. This stone will escape. And this three will be killed. But if white responses, 
black cosmic to present. So I said, if white cosmic is that of the descent, black will have no chance to present. If so, white can play according to this variation. Black's technique simply can't work. Unluckily, white had no stone here. So white can't play the variation I just mentioned. White after here is dead. Black knobby. White connects. Black knobby. White pushes. Black calls me. It's a test G. White cannot hurry. Black pushes. White connects. Black connects. If white connects, black artery, white has to connect. These stones back to life again. So you can say it's very hard to kill go second stones comfortably. In intro game, white connects. Black pushes. White pushes. A dramatic result appears. The white dragon backs to life. But when black pushes through, this white dragon is a dead group. White has to connect in Gotti. Then black takes a chance to save this five. White has to reinforce here. Black next. Not only the five stones are saved, but the three stones inside are also saved. So I said, it's very hard to kill gold second stones. During the huge exchange, the white dragon came back to life. But this dragon was killed. This dragon is no smaller than this one. What's more, these eight stones were dead stones. But now, they are alive and these white stones are dead. The difference between the two results are too big. Without doubt, white is all over. The final result was that Gosaka won the game. During this game, Gosaka attacked the two groups alternately and finally killed one of them. This was a really splendid performance. As the first Nathan player in the Modigo history, Fujisawa Konosuk played really well, so he lost the game. Your game didn't call me. He took white and dominated the advantage for a long time. Unfortunately, he fails at the final step. After the match, Fujisawa Nada offered his recognition and dropped out the Nihon King. Go second was clearly established as the best goal player at the time. Afterwards, because of his splendid success, he is recognized as one of the greatest goal players in history. Also, by creating new Fuseki, he and Kidani Midoro are recognized as the fathers of Money Go. This is my most favorite goal game, and I hope you like it too. For more goal videos, please visit my website www.gocommentary.com. You can subscribe to my website via Facebook, Twitter, email, and RSS feed. And they are all free. Please don't subscribe my YouTube channel, because not all my videos are on YouTube. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.